hand armed ISIS or ISIL or the Islamic State or whatever you want to call this new truly terrifying terrorist faction. For the duration of this story, I'm going to call them ISIS because why not? So since we first heard of ISIS, fringe news outlets have been screaming that the U.S. made them. And while that sure sounds like an accusation held together with lots of questions and no answers, others besides conspiracy theorists have arrived at this conclusion, like the Washington Post. In an article, the Post outlines very clearly how the U.S. has both trained and armed ISIS. For decades now, for far too long, the U.S. has been acting on an old premise that the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So it arms or funds groups in the Middle East, hoping those groups will be able to beat other groups and thus defeat a mutual enemy. But that's not how it works in the Middle East. You don't have to be a foreign policy expert to know that at this point, that web is so tangled after years of intervention and short-term alliances by the whole world, not just the US. So knowing thine enemy is next to impossible. It's the Middle East, for Christ's sakes. It's been a powder keg since the dawn of man's civilization. What, one more airstrike is gonna fix it? Give me a break. So anyway, the article lays out very clearly just a few of the ways the US is responsible for ISIS. It starts by pointing out how the US trained Syrian rebels, a fact substantiated over the last few months by The Guardian, Reuters, and a million others. And according to Abu Yusuf, a high-level security commander of ISIS who spoke with the Post, all those Syrian rebels have now joined ISIS. Others actually claim the U.S. actually has a secret military base in Syria to train rebels. So that's how the U.S. trained ISIS. As for how the U.S. armed ISIS, Yusuf goes on to explain that when the Iraqi army flees from ISIS, they leave all that military equipment and weaponry the U.S. gave them behind. And ISIS just scoops it up. Other members of ISIS have independently backed up all this information, too. Also to back it up is common sense. The U.S. has dumped billions of dollars in weapons, training, and supplies into the Middle East. And ISIS now has so much money and weaponry that it rivals Israel for being the most capable military power in the region. So you don't have to be a conspiracy theorist to know that at least some of the U.S.'s massive training and funding in the Middle East has gone directly to ISIS. So call them whatever you want. This latest terrorist group is largely made in the USA. Tonight, let's talk about that by following me on Twitter at The Resident.